All right. Uh, previously, I have opened our uh, discussion about writing thesis. In this first part of my explanation, I'm going to share with you about how to write chapter one, introduction in your thesis. The first part of the introduction chapter in your thesis is related to background of the research. What does it mean with background of the research? Background of the research means that you give a general description of why you wanted to do this research. If the topic of your research is related to, for example, English language teaching or linguistics or uh, literary studies in English, then you need to uh, describe the background, the reasons why you wanted to do this research. The reason itself can come from your uh, personal curiosity about the uh, current issue in the research, or you can start with uh, some related theories or findings in the field. You can address those and then you frame the background of the research of that your readers know where you are going to stand your research. This, um, in particular, uh, background of the research addresses uh, the, the layer of where your research came from. It's not, it doesn't have to be uh, very broad, but it needs to be specific in a sense that your readers know what you are going to uh, get or find within your research. That is background of the research. After you state background of the research, the second part of the chapter one is called as identification of the problem. In the background, you started with a broad conception of your research topic. Then, in the identification of a problem, you specify what is the main thing that you're going to explore or analyze or investigate or uh, extrapolate from your research. And if it needs to be a statement, then you need to state it explicitly. For example, this research is going to find out why the FL students in Indonesia are reluctant to speak in the classroom. You can use that as an example. Anyway, now, after you state the problem, you need to say um, what are the research questions or hypotheses. Now, at this point, this is very uh, careful though. If you use qualitative research design, then you need to state the research question. Now, let's say, as an example, I conducted research about EFL writing in Indonesia. So, I'm going to ask a very basic question related to EFL writing. Because I'm a lecturer in English, so I am going to frame the research by asking, uh, for example, what would be the most difficult aspect that the FL students find um, difficult to deal with when they want to write uh, a text in the classroom? Now that is the research question. Because I approach the problem within qualitative design, then I need to start my research with research question. The form of the research questions could be how and then why. And the form of the data should be verbal or descriptive statements. On the other side, we have hypothesis or hypothesis depending on how many hypotheses that you're going to find out in your research. Now, if you apply quantitative research design, then you need to state the hypothesis at the beginning of your research. Hypothesis itself is a preconception 
or assumption before you do your research. Now let's say um, there's this an there's an example of the writing. I am having my thought that um, my students feel afraid to write because they think that grammar has blocked uh, the way they express their thoughts in English. So I hypothesize that grammar is the most uh, contributing factor of why EFL students reluctant to write in English. So that is the first hypothesis. And the next hypothesis is grammar is not the most uh, contributing factor. So that is example of the hypothesis. In my research later on, I'm going to find out is it true that grammar is the reason why EFL students feel a bit afraid to write in English? Hmm. Right? So if you apply quantitative, start with the hypothesis. But if you apply qualitative, then start with your research question. What about the next one? Significance of the research. Now, this is a good thing to talk about. Significance of the research or research significance, it talks about why it matters for you to do this research. Why? You need to state the strong reasons why conducting this research is useful, not only for you, but also for readers. If you are going to write about uh, research in the field of linguistics or literature, you need to think about hmm, what would be the good thing of doing this research. Now, after you state the significance of the research in terms of the usefulness of your research findings later on for today or for in the long run, you can talk about how your research is dealing with uh, policy makers, mm, then you need to define the key terms after you state the significance of the research. Defining the key terms means that you lead your readers to your own understanding about the key terms. For example, my research topic deals with EFL. What does it mean with the EFL? EFL stands for English as a Foreign Language, very different with the EIL. EIL is English as an International Language. So these two terms have different meanings and definition. Therefore, I need to uh, write it down in the definition of key term section of the thesis. So if you are going to write the definition of key terms, you need to state it explicitly what does it mean with that key terms and what makes a word or a phrase become key terms in your research when you use that word or phrase in all over places in your research and you need to use that word or phrase again and again later on in your research methodology or in your findings then put those words and phrases as the key terms okay all right now that is my explanation about chapter one introduction start with the background of the research and then statement of the problem or identification of the problem you identify it and then you state the problem and then you uh, move on with the research question or hypothesis and then after that you finish that with the significance of the research and define definition of the key term. right now we come to the next explanation about chapter two in the next video